hi there Scorpio this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot I have pre shuffled these decks for you this is going to be a reading for the week of October 16th to October 22nd this is intended to be a weekly love reading we will see what comes up this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people I have created a Facebook live feeds group for readers, healers, and people just looking for guidance. The link will be below if you're interested. Again, this is for Scorpio. I'm only going to shuffle for a minute since I have already shuffled these. What do you have for Scorpio? The basis of your reading is the Justice card. Actually, we're going to use the bottom as well. Alright. So that you have two basis of your reading. You're the Two of Pentacles and the Justice card. The Justice is um, the sign of Libra, but it's also a Karma card. Okay, so this week Karma may be playing a part in your life in some way. There we go. And it does look like, you know, you may be changing. Um, you may be making a decision of some sort this week. A big decision because these are kind of both decisions and those are the basis of your reading. Um, I see a lot of financial security here. Okay, feeling very financially set. And I don't mean rich or anything, but feeling financially comfortable for many of you. And you may really be focusing on your job because I see more... Um, finances being a factor this week than love it's not that, like there's not love but i think you're really concentrating on your career okay or, or really putting a lot of your energy into your job um i do see that there's a commitment of some sort so if maybe it's to your job maybe it's to a person but i do see there's a commitment here that's the outcome there's a commitment. I think um, maybe you're committed to your job this week. Really committed to excelling. All right. Uh, that's what I see. I see that you're really committed to excelling in something. And I think it has to do with your job. Um, you may be receiving a gift from somebody. Maybe even a raise. Could be a gift of money. Um, I do see that a lot, many of you are starting fresh with something. Maybe you've got a new job. Or who knows. Maybe you're starting a new relationship because we have a relationship right over starting new, and we do have Leo, um, Aries, and Sagittarius, or it's just a renewal of a relationship, okay? Um, I do. We do have the moon card here, and this is something like unknown. Um, and the moon is represented by Pisces, and I don't know if I told you that this is Libra, Justice is Libra, this one is Aquarius. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We do have Leo pretty prominently. Um, and we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, a couple times each, okay? But I do see that you're very satisfied this week. I do. I see. I think this is a week of contentment, really. I do. I think that you have made a decision or you're about to make a, de make a decision that is really um, showing everyone who you are, okay? I think that you are... Are being true I think that you're being honest I think that you're doing the right thing for you um, I see that there's a lot of balance in your life this week and I don't see very much conflict I think that's what you have released any conflict that was in your life so I think this week is is very balanced okay um, it looks like there's a, there's wish fulfillment here, okay? With the, with the star and the nine of cups, there's some wish fulfillment, all right? And it's because you took action. You took action regarding something where you had to take a practical approach. You had to be more responsible. 
you had to um, step up to the plate and I think it's regarding money okay I think you are really putting your effort into your career to help um, bring equality to a relationship or to build a strong foundation in your work or at home or something. I really believe that you're focusing on your work, your money, your career to um, relieve a heaviness that you've had in the past, okay? A heaviness, a struggle in, in, with finances. I think that now you're no longer struggling financially like you were, okay? So this week it, it's really prominent that you are still working on that and it's in a good way it's like you're you're stable i see stability here a lot of it okay and i think the weight that you are holding on your shoulders which is right here has been um you know maybe not taken off completely but almost removed okay i think the big weight that you were carrying around for maybe the past three months is finally um, dissolving okay that's what it looks like so I think this week you probably have um, you probably have a lot of um, balance okay you're feeling pretty balanced I do see that you're feeling abundant all right, You're, you should be. You should be feeling abundant. I think we have some wish fulfillment here, and you did it. It's like you took action. You made a change, and now it's paying off. You know, this is supposed to be a love reading, but I think it's more of, and this this all leads to love because when you're content, when you're content with your finances, it's easier to focus on love. You know what I mean? It's you don't have the worries like you can't provide. You know. Um, I do see that you put yourself, you did it, you did it, you took, you had the strength, you used your resources, you were responsible, you were practical, you took action, um, you started from the ground up, it looks like, it looks like you had to start over in something and you had to start anew and it hasn't been easy and you just jumped right in, you were like, you know what, I'm going to do this, you didn't have any fear, you, you, you just did it all right and, and i think that um there's happiness because you did i do i think we have a lot of happiness here um there's contentment it's a content week we're gonna get this next deck and see if we can get some love what do you have for scorpio regarding love You should be proud. Your determination has paid off. There was no quitting. There was no quitting. You were determined to be successful, and I think that you have been. I think many of you are in a relationship right now. Okay, if you are in a relationship with with the person that could be the one, and I'm saying that because we have the king and queen of pentacles, and when you have two, you know, the queen and king of any sign, okay, it could be the king and queen of wands, whatever, I would say the same thing. The king and queen of pentacles tells me that you might be with somebody that you are meant to be with, okay, because this is a couple in the, in the court cards, okay, and they're here in this reading, and this is a couple that's meant to be together. Okay, they jive very well, and I do see a commitment. There could even be an engagement. Okay, just saying there could be. Um, just but anyway, this right here is um, a couple. So if you're with somebody, you know you're probably with the, with the right one. Okay, um, here we have the emperor. This is a sign of Aries, but it's about being in control, and that is what I think you should be proud of. You've taken control of a situation which has alleviated a big weight that you were carrying around. All right, it's like you've decided you're gonna you're gonna take the lead. All right, you're not gonna follow. You're gonna take the lead. Um, this Queen of Wands. You have it twice. So there's a lot of you are seriously dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or 
a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, because we both we have them both prominently. Okay, um, let's keep going. This just reiterated what I said. It's a couple. It definitely is a couple. I think that you are. Um, if you're with somebody, you're probably with the correct person. Okay, this is. Uh, oh, I'm gonna keep get the last card here. You might have a choice between two people. Just saying. That's why we're, you probably do. You probably do. You have a choice between a Virgo, a Capricorn, or Taurus, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and it looks like, you know, you've been uh, going through a period of healing. All right. You may have been trying to escape or block something out, you know, block something out to um, to get through something. And maybe that's the weight that you're you are um, dropping off your shoulders. OK, because it look, this is the fake it till you make it card. The temperance is it's faking something, pretending about something. It's also also the sign of Sagittarius, but it's also the sign of balance. So I like I said earlier, there is a lot of balance this week. So this, I think that you have, I think that you have let something go. I do. That, uh, that, and it's not that you have let something go. You, you made something disappear because you took action. You know, you took control and you, you really focused on getting something done and, and becoming more stable and secure. That's what I see. So I think this week, um, Balance is returning to your life. That's what I think. But you're going to have to make a decision. I don't think the decisions are over. I don't. Because with the Two of Pentacles as the basis and the Justice being the basis of your week, those are both about decisions and those are like your main cards. This one and this one. So I still think there's a decision on your mind, okay? And this is saying that you are going to have to, you're going to have to, you're going to have to make it, okay? You're going to have to take control of the situation, all right? This is a leader. You're going to have to take the lead. You're going to have to um, use your inner wisdom, Okay, you're going to have to use your inner wisdom, you're going to have to use your life experiences, and you're going to have to finally make a decision, and it could be between two people, I'm just saying. We have a queen here, and we have a queen here. And this is the decision right in the middle. Now, the queens can be man or woman, just saying. All right? Okay, we have happiness here, and this is, this is starting over. All right, this is a fresh start that leads to happiness. But you have to make a decision first. Because you can't just keep blocking it out forever. You can't keep faking a situation. It's time to bring some balance back. And I think many of you have. So I think this week is about balance, Scorpio. I am going to get you one of my cards from my... Uh, Angels Oracle card deck. This is one of my new decks. And you guys are the first to get a card. What do you have for Scorpio? Make sure you only got one card. We had two, so I'm putting it back in. I'm going again. I only want to get one. Here we go. This is one. Relationship. Ooh. I am going to read that to you. I don't know if you can see it good enough. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. Every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then struggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your 